my sugar plums welcome back to my channel guys in today's diy i'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful 3d alcohol ink wall art and it is because it is a lighted wall art you can either use it as just a wall art or you can use it as a sconce also so it's super easy to make and you barely need any material to make it it's super easy guys we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial and i'm gonna be showing you how to make it and also guys if you want to know what material that i use and where you can find them make sure you check the description box below for all the links so first thing you're gonna be needing of course is gonna be some mirrors now depend on whatever um mirror you want to do it's uh you can do uh any shape or any size that you want i have those two mirrors at home so i'm gonna go ahead and do a pair so we're gonna be go get going first and wipe all a mirror down with some alcohol and then those are the inks that i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be using orange purple scarlet which is a red one i'm gonna be using blue and also i'm gonna be using some metallic colors it's gonna be uh gold pearl white as well as bronze now make sure you check out guys because those uh alcohol ink the metallic one i made them myself i have a video for that so make sure you check my channel too if you want to learn how to make your own also you're going to be needing some gilding adhesive because i'm going to be using uh using some gold leaf also on the mirror now i'm showing you this is the tip that i'm going to be using for my heat gun because this one's gonna have like a precise you know um help me um to move my inks in a precise way also i'm going to be using 95 percent alcohol but anything that's like 91 percent and up you can use guys um first of all i'm going to be doing i'm going to take like a little bit of alcohol put it in a medicine cup and then you're also going to be needing a brush i'm going to be using a fine tip brush because this is going to help me move my alcohol ink in the shape and the direction that i want first i'm going to be doing i'm going to put like a little puddle of alcohol on to the mirror itself and then I'm gonna start adding my alcohol and using my heat gun to uh, blow the alcohol in the way that I want. Now make sure when you're using your heat gun that you're not using it on a hot air. I'm just uh, using it on cold air just to move the uh, alcohol ink. And then after that, once I'm satisfied with how I move them, I'm gonna go ahead with my brush and the remaining of um, the alcohol that's in the little cup. And I'm gonna use a tipping, uh, put my brush in the alcohol and then you know move the alcohol ink. And this all you're gonna be doing now the alcohol ink is basically it's gonna be the background or the base of you know everything so you don't really have to you don't really need to have it in like a you know a perfect way it's art it doesn't need to be perfect that's what makes it a beautiful it's abstract abstract art so just go and do whatever you want guys literally and i'm gonna go ahead and repeat it in the same um um for the other side again they don't need to be identical they just need to be sisters not twin and even if you make them twin don't make them identical just make them fraternal twin so so guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that. Once I'm satisfied with the placement of my ink, I'm going to go ahead and dry it. And using my heat gun this time, I'm just going to dry it to, you know, move up, uh, move up uh, the process so we don't have to sit there and wait. So I'm just using my heat gun, you know, completely dry my ink before you move on to the next step, which is the uh, uh, best way for you to do it because you don't want your ink to be moving around if it's still wet. So if you want the color that you put, uh, you add it to your mirror to stay put you make sure your ink is completely dry before you move on to the next step now i'm going to be adding a lot of glitters and to uh, my cap harder to um, my uh, art now again like i said the ink uh, alcohol ink itself is just the base background so we're gonna be adding other colors to it again everything that i use guys i'm gonna be putting them for you in the description box below so make sure you check the description box below if you need information on what i use and where i get them i'll leave a link for you where you can purchase those as well so those are the um, um my cup harder and the glitter that i use i will also be using a lot of um, um loose acrylic gem so um make sure you um check that also and again guys you don't have to have uh if you're gonna make this you don't need to have the same color scheme you can just choose like a different color scheme and then do your thing now i'm gonna go ahead with my lavender mac on my cup harder first and as you can see i'm just tracing a little bit here and there just to add a little bit more uh 
interest to the piece and I'm gonna go and then do the same for the other side and then I'm gonna go and add my gold one but because I don't want to have like a raised line I'm just using my brush to kind of smooth out the maca powder that I added with my epoxy and then I'm gonna use the heat gun to warm it up and kind of mix the two color a little bit together and then move the mica powder a little bit and then after that I'm gonna go and start adding my mixture of epoxy and glitter now I choose glitter that either complement the um, alcohol ink that I have or glitter that always that are the same color of the alcohol ink that I'm uh, adding and we're gonna be adding um, some glitter almost on every part that have the alcohol ink but not every part as you can see i go back with the alcohol ink some of them and then we're gonna add more of the alcoholic on top of the glitter just to make them pop now this is where i'm gonna go ahead and start adding my um loose uh, acrylic gem and my um for my acrylic diamond i'm just gonna be using a hot pink and i'm gonna be using a blue and as well uh, some crystal clear now I'll be adding more crystal clear than any other one but we'll still be adding I will try to add the, um, the respective colors of uh, you know the loose gem in like the respective uh, um, alcohol ink but it doesn't really matter we're just gonna be adding them and I'm like as you can see guys I'm just focusing my uh, everything to stay in the middle only where I have uh, well, I have the alcohol ink and then I'm gonna be adding some um, uh, chunky glitter and this is uh, I believe I use the purple pearl and the um, champagne gold and then I'm gonna be adding more to make uh, the, the color more vibrant and popular and I'm gonna be showing you what uh, with the uh, chunky glitter what it look like it looks very 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 beautiful I absolutely love the way it looks and then now I let it dry for about like two hours before I move on to do this part now the piece is still sticky with uh, where I have the epoxy it's not completely cure yet but around on the outside it's not sticky so we're gonna go ahead with our gilding adhesive and I'm gonna go ahead and um, brush it everywhere I want to have my gold leaf now you have once you finish putting your, uh, your adhesive down you're gonna let it cure for 30 minutes now once it's ready to put your gold leaf on top of it it's gonna turn clear now once that is done I went and put my gold leaf and you know the deal with this guys you just take a brush smooth it out remove like any extra pieces not because my uh, I use the epoxy on top of the colors it's still sticky any little piece scrap pieces that I remove from the gold leaf I'm gonna go ahead and stick it randomly you know in the center of uh, the piece itself now once we finish doing that guys we're gonna go ahead and let it dry and then I'm gonna add more cr uh, crystal clear of the um, the loose gem because I find out uh, I didn't I wanted to have it <laughs> more of the crystal clear acrylic um, loose gem on top of them so I added more and also I have those two beautiful brooches that I got from totally dazzle guys they have a sell now it's like 30% off of everything that's in the website and they are super cheap and have high quality beautiful gem guys I'll leave their website for you so if you want you can check them out as well so I'm gonna go over and seal everything everything with a clear coat of epoxy now make sure you leave your epoxy to sit for at least 15 minutes so it start to thicken before you start putting it because I don't want the epoxy to go over the whole mirror I just want it to stay where I have my art uh, in the center of the mirror so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both and then I'm gonna use my heat gun pop the bubble you know warm the epoxy up a little bit and then I'm gonna be using my brush again to move the epoxy the clear part where I want it to move now make sure when you're doing that if you're gonna be using a brush it's either a brush that you don't want to use anymore because trust me you won't be able to use it after that or use a silicone brush now once I have my epoxy in exactly where I want to put it I'm gonna go around again Again, in adding my chunky opal glitters and then it's gonna look super beautiful on the clear epoxy and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick my gem um, my brush um, from totally dazzle in the middle and then we have a beautiful piece now from this part you can choose to leave your piece like this 
and we can move on but i wanted to add a little bit more bling i'm gonna be using those big uh loose acrylic uh, gem in the clear version and i'm gonna do like a cluster of three and i'm gonna do three different spots on one mirror so um and the beautiful thing about those clear acrylic gem because you're gonna stick them in the part that have like some colors they will literally take the color of the alcohol ink that is soaking into i'm like i'm showing you right now you can see we have like this one have like some gold in it and my favorite one of course is this part one that have the blue and the purple soak into it so now once i'm done with this now we're gonna create the 3d mirror part of uh the piece now i have those uh, scrap mirror that i had, I had left uh, when i did my uh fireplace super no so this is a carbon fireplace that i did in december last year you should definitely check it out guys if you haven't seen this you'll be surprised what you can do with cardboard again check my channel for all those diy now i'm using my um cut my glass cutter i'm gonna cut those uh scrap pieces like in like different um shape and different sizes and then we're gonna go ahead and build our 3d like kind of brick uh, um, fill like and then all i'm gonna be needing is some e6000 or any strong adhesive guys will do don't use heat gun because it, it heat gun tend to be a little bit messy and sometimes it's hard to have it stay glued on top of a mirror it's not gonna stay so make sure you use like something that's strong that's gonna make sure your stuff's gonna be staying there okay so now what i'm gonna be doing guys i'm gonna take my pieces and i'm gonna lay them down you know different shape different size different way and then we're gonna build on top of them like creating like a 3d almost like a jenga uh type of look i don't know if you guys know how to play jenga if you know it's almost like a jenga you're gonna build it up and then i'm gonna do like some i'm gonna be doing three layers some i'm gonna I'll be doing four some i'm gonna be doing two so it's just how you feel i'm gonna go ahead and build that all around the side uh anywhere that doesn't have the um color uh um, part to it we're gonna build that and once we are done this is what it's gonna be looking like and i absolutely love the way it looks it looks very interesting very beautiful and very expensive I love the way it looks now because I want it to be lighted and I'm gonna be adding the light on the back of the mirror you're gonna need something to um, glue your mirror into I'm gonna be using those canvases um, those canvases are smaller than your mirrors you have to have something that is smaller in size than whatever size or shape of mirror that you'll be using and I'm gonna be using a 6000 and hot glue to uh, glue the mirror to the canvas and then once it's glue all I am gonna be doing I'm gonna be using some fairy light to wrap around the canvas itself glue the battery pack in uh, you know inside the canvas and then you are done now this one guys I use the uh, fairy light that have uh, um, that you have to manually turn on and off just because I don't have any more of the one that have the battery um, the remote control operated now if you have this it's gonna be a lot easier for you to turn on and off your art so but it's in easy fix because I didn't glue uh, those uh, on the back I just wrap it around the uh, the canvas itself and then just glue the battery pack and it's easy I can just remove it because it's hot glue so I will buy uh, some that have the remote control for easy access to turn on and off and guys that's it you are done now you can be use that you can be um, using this uh, um, art as just a wall decor that's beautiful and light up at night or you can use it as a wall sconce and if you're going to be using it as a wall sconce all you have to do is put like a mirror on you know in the middle and then use those two on the side now let me know if you want me to do like a big mirrors uh, also the, to complete the whole thing if you're going to be using it as a wall sconce if i have a lot enough people tell me to do it i'll make sure to do it for you guys but this is the finished product and i think it looks beautiful guys i have so many diys with alcohol ink and epoxy on my channel guys make sure you check them out i also have many diy where i show you to how to make different type of mirrors make sure you check on my channel and if you're new to my channel guys and this is your first time thank you so much for being here i really appreciate you welcome and please
please do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the like button also and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other video that i come up with also if you're an old subscriber and thank you so much for being here thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate all the love and support guys thank you for being here guys make sure you check the video on my channel and guys i'll see you for next video next time and as always guys you know the drill be blessed and stay blessed bye guys love you Mwah.